Bounce, baby boy. And as you know, I'm opening tonight. I have the honor to open for Dave Ramsey. Tonight in Glendale, and boy, are we excited about that. And and what we do is I talk about how to live your dreams. And we've just been giving people a sample. And so if you're living your dream, I want you to call and let us know how you got there. And if you stuck, you call too. I want to hear from you. Call right now. The number to call is, are you ready? 888-539-2980. That's 888-539-2980. Sonny, hello. Thank you so much for calling. Tell me, uh, are you living your dream, Sonny? No, I'm not, but I'm close. Okay, tell me, what is it you're doing? I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well, um, I'm a singer, uh -huh. and I'm um, like an entertainer, too. I do acting and stuff. And Now, what kind of music do you sing? I sing everything. I'm trained in opera, but I like everything. Oh, that's like, literally, good. Literally, I like everything. I like jazz. I like mm -hmm. blues. I like pop. Um, and I have a really, I do have a really good voice. I just can't write my own music. Okay. And I, I, I want to be able to make people feel the way that I feel when I hear a really good song. Yes. And I don't know what the next step would be to do that. Like, everybody always tells me, you have the voice, you have a unique look. You know, I'm like a redhead with green eyes. And you, you have the perfect personality for entertainment. So what's my next move? Okay, what is the next move? What would you like for it to be? What, was, what does that look like for you? Well, I'd like to get somebody to write songs for me so that I can start... You know, I'd love to do some open mic nights. Okay, but listen, let me just say, first of all, let's stop right there, because you okay. can, you, you're you in a place where there are thousands of writers that's looking for somebody that's got what you got. So do yeah. you have a website? What is your email address? Uh, it's my name, Vanessa.bova at yahoo.com. Vanessa.bova? Uh-huh. And how do you spell bova? B as in boy, O, V as in Victor, A. Okay, Vanessa.bova, because there are people out there who can write, but they uh -huh. can't sing, and this would be a good marriage for you. So that is great. Yeah, that would be wonderful, because I, I feel like I am I was put here on this earth to change people's lives, not only with music, but with, you know, like humanitarian stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I just feel like I want people to listen to me sing and say, oh, my gosh, she knows exactly how I feel. Fantastic. I want you to give <laughs> your website once again. Go ahead. Give it again. It's V. As in Victor, uh -huh. A N E S S A dot B is in boy, O V is in Victor A. Vanessa dot Bova Good. at Yahoo dot com. Your divine writer is writing you right now. They're texting you. They're emailing you right now. And they have the hits for you right now. Millions of people are going to hear your voice. It's your time. Thank you so much for calling. Oh, God bless you, sweetheart. Thanks for helping a sister out. <laughs> okay. God bless you as well. Okay. Thank you. Let me. Let me talk to Michael online for Michael. Thank you so much for calling in. Well, thank you, Les. And uh, Les, I'd like to say congratulations to Rihanna, who called earlier on getting her uh, cosmetology license. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations, and she starts tomorrow. She's serious. Good for her. Yes. And yes, Les. I am living my dream. I um, just made my first trip around the world at age sixty. Wow. I traveled for six months by myself to how, complete my journey. How did you do that? I bought an airplane ticket and I just went. No hotel reservations. I got hotels in every city I stopped in along the way. Everything worked perfect. I never put on a jacket for my entire journey because I had such good weather all the way around. Let me ask you this. When did you decide to do this and why? Uh, I decided um, really about two months before I took off. Mm, and, I, like, uh, yes. I like to travel. Okay, you like to travel. I do, too. And you decided to do it, and, 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 you, and it was a great experience. Did you meet some, some new people? I met plenty of wonderful people. I want you to tell me the best experience. When you think about this, tell me something that's memorable. I'm sure you had a lot of them, but it's unforgettable. When you think about it, it brings a smile to your face. Uh, easy stuff. Walking along the Ganges River in India, mm. in the city of Varanasi. India is such an amazing, chaotic place. <laughs> amazing, whenever, chaotic whenever place. Whenever I walk in the street in India, I just get a smile on my face. Cows, motor scooters, rickshaws, uh, cars, people, 
monkeys. It's just really a fascinating country. Wow. Well, listen, I congratulations. Say, uh, India was my, my most uh, fun memory of, of places that I visited. Well, listen, congratulations to you. What's the next dream for you? This is not it for you. You're still a young man. I'm six uh, years older than you, so you're still a young man. What, what's uh, the next one for you? I agree. Uh, this is the thing, Les. I had such a wonderful experience. I did not have one bad day in six months of my uh, my journey. Yes. I took several thousand pictures. And I had some great experiences. My desire now is to share that with people. Oh, that is great. And, and, and you I, have such I, a great speaking voice, and you have such energy, positive energy behind your voice. Uh, that would be fabulous. So that's what I'm looking for. I suppose I, I'm... I'm waiting for the inspiration, I guess. Okay, but listen, I want to, here's what I want you to do with this. I'm suggesting... Are you open to some coaching? Absolutely. I, I think that, number one, that you should show it, and, and do it with music, have a pianist. I've got a very good pianist that right, works right here. You, that you can have a pianist and, and do it with friends. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be doing something pretty soon called A Night of Greatness, featuring people like yourself and myself as well. And so this is fabulous, so make sure you stay tuned and continue to listen, all right? Absolutely. I appreciate you, thank you so much, and congratulations for living your dream. The best to you, Les. Oh, and the best to you as well. Okay, fantastic. Went around the world. I've never been to the movies by myself. <laughs> he went around the world. Wow. That's that's exciting. Listen, I, I, I want to thank those of you that have been calling in. We're going tonight to, to be with Dave Ramsey. Uh, let me share this with you. Number one, here's what I know about you and I don't know you. Based upon my experience, your dream is possible. That you owe it to yourself to pursue your dream. Dr. Howard Thurman said something. I love his work. He was a mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Mahatma Gandhi and Abbott Schweitzer. He said, there's something in each and every one of you that waits and listens to the voice of the genuine in yourself. It will be perhaps the only guide you will ever have. And if you cannot hear it, all of your life, your days will be spent on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls. Wow. When I read that, because I didn't listen to that still small voice within, had you ever said to yourself, if I had just listened to my first mind, I was allowing somebody else to pull my strings. I worked on a job. They paid me just enough to keep me from quitting, and I worked just hard enough to keep from being fired. I was allowing somebody else to pull my strings. And I say to you, there's a voice in you. There's a dream in you that's hungry to get out. And as you listen to this program each and every day, you'll get closer to getting out of your head and into your greatness and living your dream. This has been Mrs. Mamie Brown's Baby Boy. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you with Dave Ramsey tonight. We are excited. We'll see you there. I'm hungry to see you. In the meantime, remember, in order to live your dream, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. Always strive to get on top in life because... It's the bottom that's overcrowded. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'll see you tomorrow from 2 o'clock until 4. This has been Mrs. Mamie Brown's Baby Boy.